Guten Abend, liebe Zuschauer. Welcome back. Today, Russia's president is meeting with the current leader of the Ukrainian revolution, Poroshenko. Whether this meeting will be able to calm the conflict in eastern Ukraine, though, is doubted by many. In the meantime, Poroshenko had to dissolve the parliament in Kiev due to irreconcilable disagreements in the parties on all levels and has now announced new elections to be held in two months. Among the bombed Ukrainian population, Poroshenko is known as a bloody leader of the revolution who ruthlessly tore up his own people, old and young, women and children. Up until now, these helpless families cry in vain for Western aid against this Ukrainian criminal terrorist government in many videos. So if now this very same Poroshenko wants to promote the early elections surprisingly as a plan for peace, hardly anyone really believes this, especially not today, just before the highly anticipated meeting with the Russian President Putin in Minsk. Can one still expect a kind of reduced tension from this meeting between Poroshenko and Putin? Probably not, experts say. Poroshenko is very unlikely to join the Russian-led customs union. He will also provide little prospect of dissolving the already signed EU association agreement. But according to assumptions of experts, Poroshenko could, shortly before the elections, adhere to the Ukrainian constitution and consent to the degree that the Ukraine remains a military non-aligned country by not joining the NATO. And this could be an important key to a peace-promoting agreement with Russia, at least in the midterm. While the international community eagerly awaits the results of the announced talk taking place today between the Russian President Vladimir Putin and the Ukrainian leader Poroshenko, we would like to present you with two remarkable, orientation-giving calls for help. One comes from a steadfast Ukrainian man and the other from a small Russian girl. Thank you for being part of this again and supporting us in our endeavors to make the current, often confusing world events transparent to all the peoples around us. For how much longer will our Western media stick to the false reporting in favor of warmongers, despite the Ukrainian people crying incessantly for our help via Internet? Russia cannot and must not intervene, otherwise this would lead to a war on European territory, as intended by the US. Our Western countries cannot and will not stand up against the Ukrainian terrorist government as long as they are being led astray by our mainstream media and thus being kept in blindness. Please spread, in particular, the original call for help videos of the Ukrainian citizens who testify that they are being massacred by their own terrorist government. Now we are going to show you the two mentioned films, both to be viewed only by persons over 18 years. Ukrainian soldiers kill their compatriots under the Ukrainian flag. This is unbelievable, but this is so. The death of our fellow citizens is now part of our everyday life and obituaries from villages and towns in the southeast Ukraine have become common news. Simple people stay in their homes, they use their daily routes to shop, to the hospital, to the church and the playground and they become victims to artillery shells which tear women, children and the elderly into pieces. This is what remains after such bombardments. It seems surprising that you can find and see these pictures on the Internet. Astonishingly, they find no mention in the news reports of the Ukrainian and European government channels. Europeans, French, Italians, Germans, Look what Ukrainian soldiers and the Ukrainian army do to the civilians of Lugansk and Donetsk. We will forgive you your silence if you don't know anything about this. But if you knew it, I would like to ask you what's wrong with you. Didn't the bombs that kill our elderly and our children reach your hearts?
Hello, my name is Jenya, and I'm a native Russian. I don't speak German. My German friend helped me to create this video. Please excuse my accent. I know that my message may not be heard by many people, but I believe that I must try to spread it. I'm sure that many of you agree with me when I tell you that what is happening around the world today, all over the world, should not be happening in the 21st century. A long time ago, our people were convinced to fight against each other. The Germans were deceived and blinded by the same force which bombed your cities, while the Russians defended their territories. Many Russians are also blinded. They don't understand that our nations were provoked to fight. Russia and Germany, two powerful nations, were there to fight against a single enemy who is striving for world domination. If the Russians and the Germans had allied at that time, they would have defeated the enemy and we would now live together in peace. Instead, we allowed them to deceive us and this war left many casualties and destroyed families. This almost led to our genocide. Have we managed since then to live in peace? It is believed that we Russians have won this war. But I think that in cases of murder and destruction, there can be no winners. Today, we were dragged into the same situation. The same powers want to make us fight each other. Are we going to allow them to do this to us once more? All I want you to do is to think and to wake up. 90% of the media in the world are controlled by the same powers which are trying to push Europe and Russia into a new war. This time it could be a nuclear war. Don't be blind. Don't send your children to war. Don't believe the lies. Russia won't attack anyone, but we will be forced to defend ourselves if there is an invasion of, or an attack on our territory. We only want that the daily killing of our brothers and sisters stops. We are obliged to defend them. Understand, if Russia enters this war, it's going to be global. When will we finally stop allowing ourselves to be pawns in this game? Wake up! We cannot allow ourselves to be forced into another war. Don't support the war. We are the same people everywhere. The same children in the same family. The same defenders of peace. Don't support the war if you want to live in peace. Please support the peace.